Box Elder High School was built in 1961 to construction standards that are now outmoded. Education is now conducted in an environment that could hardly have been imagined at that time. We now have computer labs throughout the school with their inherent demand for electrical service that cannot be adequately met. Asbestos tile is present throughout the building. There were no seismic codes in 1961. The plumbing has been patched and repaired until there is nothing left to patch. The building has served well, but sadly, it is simply worn out from the pressing needs of a student body of more than 1,400 students who occupy the building from early morning until late at night. Ironically, many in the community refer to Boxelder High School as the new high school. However, there have been no significant infrastructure changes since its inception nearly 50 years ago. The classrooms are 15 to 20 percent smaller than current standards. There have been 17 revisions of building codes since the original construction. In its present state, the school has some serious structural and systemic problems that have raised some safety issues such as asbestos tiles throughout the building, failure to meet standards of Americans with Disabilities Act, inadequate security and non-existent seismic reinforcement complicated by a two-story structure. Over the years, the school has gone through many transitions in code compliance, but the reality is that safety and construction standards have steadily raised at the same time the building is showing its age from increasingly demanding usage until it can no longer meet current standards. The learning environment is also compromised by inadequate science and computer labs that fail to meet state safety standards. The classrooms do not provide adequate space for the number of students. The cafeteria is not sufficient for the number of students who eat there regularly, which forces some students to eat off campus. The present ventilation system capacity is only 33% of present standards. The classrooms are too hot in warm weather and too cold in cool weather. These areas of concern must be addressed to make Box Elder High School a safe, comfortable, and adequate learning environment for students teachers, staff, and administration. These problems can be corrected with money specifically allocated to Box Elder High School to address these issues. The 2007 bond will accomplish these goals and allow our students to get the quality education and the facilities they need and deserve. Vote yes for the 2007 bond. Hi, I'm Principal Eddington, the Principal of Box Elder High School. Uh, it's my great privilege to be the principal of this good school. Uh, I've been principal for seven years and uh, I think I have a pretty good understanding of this place. We're now going to take an, uh, an opportunity to explain to you the phases that we'll follow as we reconstruct this building. What you're seeing now is the current layout of Box Elder High School from uh, the auditorium in the south and the auditorium on the north. The first phase is to construct two classroom wings to the west. This will be out into our baseball field area now, plus the beginnings of our new kitchen and cafeteria with a new theater shop, scene shop and uh, storage area. Then you'll see that uh, the second phase will involve demolishing parts of the building, particularly between the auditorium and the gymnasiums. The center area then will, will be filled in with uh, classrooms, offices, the new cafeteria, uh, hallways, uh, uh, and other kinds of uh, spaces that we need in the school. Additionally, the natatorium will have an addition added to it that will have bleachers that will house uh, 700 people and locker rooms that will be used for our sports that are uh, participate primarily in the north end of our building. This is a closer view of the front of the building and you can see the concept uh, of the entrance where the offices and the new media center will be. This view is of the entrance to the large gymnasium area, uh, a sort of a mini version of the main entrance. This will make it very convenient for us to uh, hold sporting events there and still maintain the security of the rest of the building. On the back of the building that you've not seen in any of the views so far are three significant areas that will be new construction. 
a new weight room and fitness center, a new wrestling room that will accommodate two wrestling mats, and a new dance studio. All of this is new construction. This is a close-up of the concept for the back of the building as well. You can see one of the classroom wings, but also that the family consumer science and science classrooms will be housed in an area uh, kind of tucked in the middle of the building. This is a view of the back door, if you will. Uh, you'll be looking into what be, will become our cafeteria uh, and the area between the two wings. Also, you can see where the mechanical facility will be housed in the new part of the building. This is all new, new construction. The addition of the new kitchen area, the new shop and the, uh, that is associated with the theater. Finally, uh, this is an overview of the construction. You can see that our school will be more compact. Uh, you can see that uh, the new construction accounts for a very large portion of our building. Uh, so this is not a remodel, this is a reconstruction of our building on site. Um, as these two phases are completed, uh, our students will still continue to go to school every day. It'll be a great education. It'll be exciting for them, I think, to see their new school being built. They'll be safe. Uh, the architectural firm that's doing this project has done this many times with other high schools and uh, we have great confidence that uh, there'll be some disruption but it'll be uh, an exciting time. Thank you.